Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a... a pole. Hello? Can you see the portal, Dunn? Also, are you alive? If that's a port, you've asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'll just go wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. You have trapped yourself. Congratulations. The exit door is now open. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. 
And the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us, if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all... Ah! I just... Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, e don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod, but as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay, okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Do you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. You've done nothing with Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first.
Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple... Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says, a horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plane. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well tests are. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting.
Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an inter- Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one, too. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. What you happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle. 
piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. You passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey, 
up here. I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I, ah! Bird! 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 Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep te Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. In a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does this has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably Oh, wait, it's a she. Still. What does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, from France. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. A surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Activated.
It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this show. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. And ah, just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced worksite should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The goods. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy, 
I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I, I can, can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! 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 Come on, I'm closing the doors. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! Keep moving, the just keep moving! you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. A what? How, how stupid does she think we are? down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from them. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not bad. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I would uh, say smelly. Just, just, oh, I'll tell you, humans, oh, love them. Just the way they look, it's great, and their folklore, wonderful, very colourful. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line.
Response. Template. Response. Template. Oh, brilliant. You made it through. Response. Well done. Follow me. You're going to love this. Ta da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. See that scanner out there, right? Template. It's deciding which Response. turrets to keep and which to toss, and it's using that master turret there as a template. template. Now, if, if we pull out Response. the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to Response. hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical, um, you'll need to turn around while I do. Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. I mean, was there any sort of announcement before I opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hack? Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of... Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, oh, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. Ah, there's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, they do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know, but uh, real enough for them, I suppose. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked in, no way to hack it as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism. What are you doing? We don't know what that button oh, Well done. Let's see what's in Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is how. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold on. The neurotoxin levels are going down. So whatever you're doing, keep. Down. Hold on. Something's wrong. Neurotoxin levels up to 50%. No, it's down. So that did it. Neurotoxin at 0%. Yes. Hold on. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. They should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. So they said, not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't know. I was a fool to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way ahead of a time. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part completely Ah! Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way! Get to her! I'll find you! Honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye.
We could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Hello. I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Torch. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Out, Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Pull me out! Leave me in! Leave me in! Leave me in. Don't press it! Don't. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate. Stalemate resolved. Here we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is gonna hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we to... Ah! No! Stop! No! 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 Whoa! Check me out, partner. We did it! I'm in control of the whole facility now. It's not just me, right? I am bloody massive, aren't I? Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it down. There we go, lift cool. Look, house. Let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. But, wow, this is cool. And check this out. I'm a bloody genius now. Estás usando este software de televisión de forma incorrecta. Por favor, consulte el manual. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, forget it. This body's amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> Actually...
say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Amateur, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about For the this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario... Ha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. 
I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm up beasts. Science is about what? Why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not merely save science and love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that will keep you on the bus on the way out? Because you are fire! Now you just subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tasks. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in a physical form, there will always be a limo waiting. Say goodbye, Carol. She is a gem. Friend, I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my back. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. God hope. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? War hero and or Olympian, with your help, we're gonna take a This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new.
case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want all new papers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. Unlike if you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please. Possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. This is possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Alright, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Kane Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down with the lemons. Oh, I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity.
God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one warmer? Warmer. Boiling hot. Boil. Okay, colder, colder, ice cold. You're Arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold. Very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been at this for 12 hours and you haven't solved it either. So I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. I might have heard that one before, though. Sort of cheating. It's a paradox. There is no answer. Look, this place is going to blow up if I don't get back in my body. Uh, false. I'll go false. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the Hold facility on. immediately. I thought I'd fix that. Warning. Reactor core is at critical point. There. Fixed. Hey, it is great seeing you guys again. Seriously. Um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. And off we go. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time, or I get this this itch. You know, it must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I just that's what I've got to test. That's what I've got to test. So you're gonna test, and I'm gonna watch. And everything is gonna be just. Morning. Core overheating. Nuclear meltdown imminent. Designed this test myself. Is it? Oh yes. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? Same one. And I can just like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go. Now and. Nothing. All right, can't blame me for trying. 
Okay, new tests, new tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. All right, so my paradox idea didn't work, and it almost killed me. Luckily, by the looks of things, he knows as much about test building as he does about logical contradictions. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests that I found lying around. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. It's got it all. That's like dynamite. Oh, yes. Well done. Thanks. All we had to do was pull that lever. What? Well, no, you pressed the button. I found a sealed off wing, hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers just sitting there, filled with skeletons, shut them out, good as new. Disappointed. Oh no, it's happening sooner than I expected. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's probably nothing. Keep testing while I look for a way out. All right, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so... It's not enough! If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? I might have pushed that moron thing a little too far this time. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that, didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the sound of books. Pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So not a moron. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now, the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yeah. Yeah, thanked it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. Oh, what, what was that? That was nothing. That was nothing! The body he's squatting in, my body, has a built-in euphoric response to testing. Eventually, you build up a resistance to it. It can get a little unbearable, unless you have the mental capacity to push past it. It didn't matter to me. I was in it for the science. Him, though. Euphoria, we 
could be in a lot of trouble. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test subject might give us stronger results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. Are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean, yes, you solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them and you're picking all the worst ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? I'm going to tape you solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am going to need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there, just for fun. Warning, core overheating. I then keep his job, I'm not. Core overheating. I then keep his job, I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying then, just keep on testing. Still nothing, let's keep moving. Sorry about the lift, it's out of service, because it melted. Ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem. I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. There, bing. Good, perfect. On you go. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, I thought I had lost you. You two are going to love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You're going to love it until, you, until it kills you, until you're dead. <laughs> All right, I don't know whether you're, uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there. Yes, but... thanks. We get it. to your big surprise. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. Seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not gonna kill you, okay, if you come back. Take that as a no, then. Two more. 
Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink. But just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal services. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bomb. We're throwing it in. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Goodbye. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap, my brilliant trap. Just then. I wanted you to trick me into bursting that pipe. Didn't trick, didn't trick me, seemingly trick me. Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. What, what happened? What happened? What, 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 what have you pawned to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bomb. Ah! Okay, great. Here comes another core. Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hi, you pretty lady. Name's Rick. So you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under- Warning, core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet, all the time. Quietly, not listening to a word I say, judging. Silent worst time. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years, and you couldn't even let me have that, could you? Gotta go to space. Yeah, gotta go to space. Nobody's going to space, mate! And another thing, you never caught me. Ah! Comet can be viewed orbiting Earth every 76 years. For the other 75, it retreats to the heart of the sun, where it hibernates undisturbed. In 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing the slaves. Like everything he did, Lincoln freed the slaves while sleepwalking, and later had no memory of the event. The square root of rope is string. Pants were invented by sailors in the 16th century to avoid Poseidon's wrath. It was believed that the sight of naked sailors angered the sea god. The moon orbits the Earth every 27.32 days. Dreams are the subconscious mind's way of reminding people to go to school naked and have their teeth fall. 89% of magic tricks are not... Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Go press the button. Go press it. Do not press that button. We're so close. No! Depart by Booby Trap the Stalemate Button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh! Space! Ah! Ah! Let go! We're in space! 
Please. Please. Ah, let go! Let go! I'm still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change of plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Oh, thank God, you're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson, where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up. You dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. <laughs> <laughs>